altar boys. What are altar boys? Well, I was one. I wanted to mention to you that in 1912, there was a sermon preached in St. Louis, Missouri. I won't mention the person's name because we're not here to slander people. But we're here to expose false teachings. Anyway, this fellow wrote a book and he quoted this sermon that this person gave. He was a, a Roman Catholic fake priest. And he was in this sermon, he said, the Pope is so incredibly powerful that the emperors, kings, presidents, and rulers of this world are as altar boys before him. And he actually referred to the altar boys that he was pointing to around him. And altar boys, <laughs> if, if the kings and priests and emperors are all altar boys to the Pope, as these altar boys are to these priests, that fake priests, they're not really priests. They're, they think they're somebody special. They administer the sacraments. What? Sacraments? I don't even find that. Oh, it's not in scripture, is it? I don't want to bore you. <laughs> but the fellow's name that wrote this book, that quoted this sermon, is uh, James Franklin Love. In the introduction, the name of the book is The Papal Invasion. Papal Invasion. Catholic altar boys, which I was one of, not anymore, of course, <laughs> but cat, they do take adults, you know, to be altar servers, men and, men and women. But Catholic altar boys are in all sorts of danger. And in my years as an altar boy, they made me wear a black cassock, like Rasputin or a Buddhist monk. They taught me Latin and conformity to processes which took many years to purge from my mind. The circus show is really a staged play with rituals performed to mesmerize the audience. The incense they burn kind of made everybody real calm. I had to wonder, wonder why I feel so sleepy. Even the prayer beads that they're doing, you know, they're, that's necromancy. Prayers to the dead. If you're talking to dead people, you're, it's necromancy. Anyway, the, the things that they do are adopted from Hinduism, like halos. You ever seen a Buddha statue with a halo on it? <clears throat> Bowing, genuflecting, water splashing. Yeah. Anyway, they, they all come from this Hindu trinity. Uh, let me not pronounce their names for you. Brr, Brr, and Brr. Okay. <laughs> not supposed to say their names. Exodus 23, verse 13. Yeah, let's not do that. Anyway, they're seen. These prayer beads are even seen on these Brr statues. You know, he's, he's sitting there in his little, well, it's a big serpent. He's a pile of serpents or something he's sitting on. Anyway, they're seen in these statues. And this all, all this nonsense reached the Middle East around 200 BCE out of India. They're doing that, walking around this stuff. And, you know, it came along this trade route called the Silk Road. That's the name of the trade route, out of India. The reign of Babel is the world order at present, but its end is near. I'd like to recommend a book. Yep, I did it again. I wrote a book. It's called The Fall of Babel, and you can pick it up at Amazon, and I have a few copies at torzone.net. Thanks for watching, and remember to like and subscribe and watch End Time Watchmen every Shabbat around 8 p.m. Thanks for watching. Bye.
Thank you.